are you a Mac user? Yes. Are you sick of this stupid caps lock indicator that Apple built into macOS Sonoma with no way to turn it off in system settings? Yes. Do you wish there was a way to turn it off? Oh, yeah. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm going to show you how. This battery is a problem. It's actually a pretty easy fix, but you just need to know what to do. First things first, open Terminal. If you're not familiar with what Terminal is, Terminal is an application that comes pre-installed on your Mac. It provides a command line interface that allows you to perform various tasks like managing files, running programs, and configuring system settings. I don't use it very often, but at times like this, it comes in super handy. Oh, and if you're looking for Terminal in your Applications folder, you actually won't find it there. You need to look within the Utilities folder inside the Applications folder. Double-click it to open up Terminal, and then just type in exactly what I'm typing in here. As an alternative to typing all this out, for your convenience, I've included the text in the description of this video. So you can simply copy and paste it. Then just press the return key to lock that in. At this point, it will probably ask you for your system password. So just type that in and hit the return key again. At this point, you're basically done. Just restart your Mac for the change to take effect. After you've rebooted, type away in all caps to your heart's content and the annoying caps lock indicator will never bother you again. Never, ever, ever again. <sighs> By the way, if for some reason you need to turn the annoying caps lock indicator back on, why would you do such a thing? Just reopen terminal and paste in the same line of text that you did before, except change the word no to yes, hit return, reboot, and Apple's worst feature, worst feature ever, will be back. And there you have it. Just a short video today. Wanted to share this quick fix for this annoyance from Apple. Shame. Shame! Shame on you, Apple, for doing this to us in the first place. But alas, I guess even the best of companies make some egregious mistakes. I reckon they may eventually offer a way to turn the caps lock indicator off in system settings in a future macOS update. But until then, by doing what I showed you today, you're good to go. If you're looking for more quick fixes to pesky problems, whether it's with an Apple product or perhaps an Adobe app, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more solutions to your problems. All right, see you in the next video. What to watch next?